Billy, 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 look at the camera. Look at, can you see the camera? Look at the camera, Billy. Everybody say hi to Billy. Billy, Billy, say hi to the camera. Ah! Well, let's do this in the real time. Right, right, you either stay there, sit down, sit down. Guys, I'm looking after this new puppy and he doesn't do as he's told. Right, Billy, over there, please, and go and sit down. Billy, I'm trying to record a video, mate. Please go over there, please, please, please. What's going on, guys? My name is Alex and welcome. What's going on, guys? Uh... What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Roll the, roll the, just roll the intro. Right, Billy, you're gonna have to go outside, mate. So guys, what's up? Thank you very much for joining me back on the main channel. Today we're gonna be looking at my new PC components, unboxing them, having a bit of a chill video, going through all of these PC components behind me, bit by bit, sat down, and going through my 2017 custom computer build. Let's do this. Oh my god, I've honestly got no idea where to start with this. Probably, probably best to start with... The case. I don't have room for this. So if I maybe just to pull this, pull this into shot like that. Maybe if I sort of do it the right way around so you guys, you guys can see it. So this is the new Crystal series from Corsair, the 57X we have here. And it's a full glass case. Even the back panel is made of glass. Corsair Crystal 570X RGB case. I'll link all of this stuff down in the description. This is a lot harder than I thought. It's inside of here. Take off the bottom. Let's pull off our anti-static sleeving here to reveal, oh my gosh. Look at that. Listen to this. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna take any more of the plastic sheeting off because I don't wanna scratch this thing, but this thing, this thing is bare bones, man. Try and get you guys a bit more of a handheld look at this thing. We've got top mounted IO up here with two super speed USB ports there. We've got a microphone and headphone uncombo jack. We've got our power cable and our lighting control. That should tie in nicely with our 120 RGB fan system. But just look at this thing, man. Like that is crazy. It's literally a full glass panel all the way around. It's gonna look immense. Even down the front, we'll replace these three fans with the LED fans from Corsair. So it's all gonna be lit up. All right, so how are we gonna light this thing up? This took me a long time to figure out. All of this stuff here is what we're gonna be using. So we've got three HD 120 fans in a single pack. These are each 120 mil fans with RGB. Over here, we've got the HD 120, so it's the same as these, but we've got the three pack. This also includes the RGB controller inside. To take things further, we've got the Lighting Node Pro LED strips from Corsair. Again, with the link built in. And we're not stopping there. I've got 32 gigs of Vengeance LED RAM. This stuff, this stuff is gonna perform amazing and look amazing. Another reason we've gone with the Vengeance is because it's amazing for overclocking. Like super easy to overclock this stuff. This is gonna be a super fun build to put together. Oh my Lord. The Seahawk. I've dreamt of this day for a while. So this is the GeForce GTX 1080. This, this is a mad card. Now it comes with its own software gaming app, but this thing, the main reason I've got this one is because it's water-cooled. This is a water-cooled GPU. We've got eight gigabytes of GDDR5X RAM inside this thing. Look at that water-cooling block. We'll get an LED fan attached to that. Now this, this is the exciting part. The mother of all cards, wow. It just had to be this card, it just did. That, oh wow. When your GPU is water cooled, you know there's some serious stuff going down. Oh my. Let's protect you with my life. The reason I'm boxing everything back up is because this PC is actually being sent off to Dave. Thank you very much, Dave, who is going to be custom cut sleeving all the cables for this build. We've got a full glass case on here, so the cables, all the cables need to, from their start position to their end point, need to be the perfect 
length because when you turn this 360 this this case around the full 360 degrees i want it to look stunning absolutely stunning and it will be. so all these parts are going to be sent off to dave who is a specialist pc modder and he's going to take care of doing all of that for me now if you guys are super into pc modding dave is actually going to be doing a blog about this so i'll try and link that in the description somewhere when it comes out <laughs> right let's tie everything let's tie everything together with the msi z 270 M7 motherboard. Oh my lordy. Would you look at that? We're going handheld for this. Look at that. Even look at that. Look at that M.2 slot. It's got a shield. The, the silver trimming around the memory slots. Look at the detail around the ports. I'm not actually using an M2 drive in this build. That is the motherboard. I've actually got over here the i7 6700K and then two. Two of these bad boys, two 480 gigabyte SSDs. These are mad drives, not the fastest, but they're still absolutely mad. And the reason I've chosen these is because as well as Dave actually doing custom cables, he's also going to be etching my logo into these drives, as well as the glass on the front of the case. You know my Mars Bar logo? It's going to be on the front of this PC. It's just going to be phenomenal. If you want to know a thing or two about CPUs, I'm not the guy to talk to. You guys recommended this for me to get. And the two last boxes, we've got our water cool. This is going to be taking care of the CPU. And then we've got the HX850i modular PSU from Corsair. The reason we're going modular is because, as I told you guys, we're doing these custom sleeved cables. So it was, it was, it was a must that we had a modular, a modular power supply in this build, PSU. This is going to be slightly insane. So guys, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash it with a like rating. Next week, with some luck, hopefully, I'm going to be coming at you guys with a top five desk tips. So make sure you smash your like rating. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe for that. And turn on that little bell. Turn on those notifications. But for now, my name's been Alex. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome. Keep smiling. I'll see you. I'll see you next time.